Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Queen of Wands here in the Hierophant. We'll see if the Queen of Wands comes out. Somebody could feel like you're just very passionate, very fiery, vibrant. You're a powerful manifester. Or this Queen of Wands could be somebody else. We'll see. Somebody is enamored with you. And I feel like looking at this tower card here with these people coming out, it feels like there's an energy of a person who is cleansing and clearing um, themselves and their life of things that could possibly come between you and love. And now, if you are somebody that is wants to have children or you are simply just still of childbearing age, <laughs> um, be mindful. Page of Wands, because somebody here is looking at you. Page of Swords and a Page of Wands. Somebody is looking at you intensely though, and they have intentions to come in. Five of Cups. Somebody is moving away from feeling regret. Any kind of disappointment. This could have been somebody who lost an opportunity with you in the past, or somebody who just did, hasn't had an opportunity to really be happy before. Queen of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, somebody is enamored. They're very drawn to this nurturing, caring, kind nature that you have. Somebody sees you as somebody that they want to marry, possibly have children with. But the Queen of Cups and the Empress, yep, the Justice, that's a legal contract. Somebody wants to marry you. Oh, the Temperance, that's two becoming one. Somebody wants to pour into you. They want to blend energies and they want to have a child. This is a specific reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Somebody is looking at this Queen of Cups person. They want to marry this person. They want, listen, A meets the sperm. They want to have kids with you. That's not everybody's reading, I know, or everyone's situation, but there's a strong message here of someone here who is looking at this Queen of Cups. They're very, very happy with this person. They see themselves having the will of fortune and they are willing to make sure that this is official with an actual legally binding contract, which will be marriage. And what you guys could find out is that someone here could be expecting, and I just noticed the Ace of Wands is here the male phallic. Somebody here, I've been getting a lot of pregnancy predictions lately. You see it? <laughs> the sun and the ace of cups. This right here could be a shock. This could be an unplanned pregnancy. It could be shocking. I don't feel like some any I don't feel like you're gonna be disappointed or upset. Now I don't know how the divine feminine, but I know this masculine won't be disappointed because it looks like that's what they want. But now four pentacles. Four pentacles is holding on. It could be an energy too of being possessive. So let's continue to clarify because you don't want a person to come in and want you stuck with them for the wrong reasons, okay? Here's the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. I'm not gonna get too excited. Five of Pentacles. Because what we're not going to do <laughs> is that somebody try to come in here and trick the collective with this energy so that they can try to get someone trapped for the wrong reason. Six of Pentacles is here. This is equal give and take. Uh-oh. Somebody may want there to be equal give and take, but uh, you need to trust your intuition about whether or not this person will really be fully invested in this situation. There's some kind of burden here. Ten of Wands, the Four of Swords, or somebody is coming out of a situation. The World card, something... Okay. Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. This situation, it has its challenges. 
somebody feel that they they're 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 afraid because they're carrying burdens. You're being advised to trust your intuition. Let this situation unfold naturally. The four of swords here. It's not something that you need to rush. Rush this person too. They may be healing from something, or they need to heal from something. The world card is here, so I feel like the divine feminine energy. You've already kind of healed or gone through some kind of awakening. Um, this person is coming in quickly though to try and celebrate with you or unite or reunite with you. A fool card. Why is a fool card? Are, are they foolish? Nine of swords. I'm here. I'd be a fool to let you go. Well, somebody can't let you go. The emperor. They can't let you go. They don't want to. Whoever this is, they don't want to let you go. And if it's been any kind of conflict, they want that to all be put to rest. Ten of Pentacles because they want long term. If there's been any kind of family drama or something like that, yeah. They're offering you commitment. But based on what I just saw, this situation may not start out the way that you saw it starting out. This may not look like what you thought your next serious relationship would look like. It's just, I don't know if this is this person because there is a karmic energy that's present here. Here's the devil and the judgment, the five of swords and the nine of wands. This karmic energy does not have to be another person. This karmic energy could simply be someone being afraid of starting over. Yeah. Somebody is heartbroken. They're afraid to start over, but they see victory and success in this situation. Therefore, they want to stand up for it and protect it. But there has been some kind of stuck, stagnant energy when it comes to partnerships. So somebody here is a bit afraid of commitment. They're coming out of that though. Strength, you got to hold on this person. They want to put the work in. 888. 888. 888. So somebody here, you may be seeing 888. That's uh. Maybe something happened around the Lionsgate portal. Somebody could be a Leo, don't have to be. But somebody also may be having, here's another eight. So now we have 88, 88. Somebody out here could be juggling though. And maybe the juggling that they're experiencing right now, it, it could have to do with, uh, I don't know, they're juggling something in their life. But it says angel number 8888 is a sign that a windfall is coming your way. And for, the, and for those who have been waiting for their finances to stabilize, this could be the sign. 8888 represents inner power, strength, and control. You're stronger than you may think, and your guardian angels are sending you 8888 to remind you of that. It says, what does angel number 8888 mean after a breakup? If you're going through a breakup, seeing 888 is a sign to let go of whatever is not serving you, be it old beliefs or grudges from your past relationships. Your angels are letting you know that better days are near, but you need to put in the work to get there. Tap into your inner strength and take care of yourself. And we know that 888 is also a number of, um, has a lot to do with manifestations, but it's directly related to finances and abundance okay um now it says seeing the angel number 88 can mean that you and your twin flame could be reun reunited very soon it is a number blessed with abundance and spiritual leveling and few things can compete with the energy that a twin flame connection so for some of you you have a windfall of abundance that's coming in love and you have a twin flame union or reunion coming up Okay, this energy here, some of this disappointment and regret could be the fact that a person, somebody could be struggling with their finances right now, okay? Or somebody could just be struggling to completely let go of things that no longer serve them, that they that they um, may have dealt with in previous situations or relationships. And they're finally finding the inner strength now to release this. This could be you. 
Now, if this is a twin flame couple, maybe you or your person is dealing with finances and the other person is dealing with heartbreak from the past. Both of you right now, in order to come into union, to reunite or you're, you could be meeting this person for the very first time, in order for you to have this blessing, which this connection in itself is a huge blessing to you, you have to release all things that no longer serve you. So the heartbreak, the toxicity, the karmic relationships, um, not being willing to really answer the call of the divine to go within, to allow yourself to have this clear, there's truth and clarity that's coming in about a partnership, the more that you heal and release things that no longer serve you. But somebody here has been juggling and a person also could be a little bit afraid, like I said, of commitment because somebody here is looking at a person and they're like, oh, wow. Somebody has realized that a person really may be the one for them. And they're thinking about marriage, children, commitment, long-term stability and security. But in order for them to get to that place and into that space, they have to let go of something else. And if this is your person looking at you this way, you have to ask yourself, is your heart actually open? Or are you still in some kind of regret or disappointment or holding a grudge against someone from your past that may actually prohibit this union or reunion from happening? Queen of Wands just popped out. Why is Queen of Wands popping out? And the Nine of Pentacles. This Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this is actually the energy of the Divine Feminine. I don't feel like this is the energy of a third party. This is the energy of a Divine Feminine who is really going within right now, and they're healing. You have the Queen of Wands here, but there's very, very heavy Virgo energy. So somebody here is going within, I think, right now, working a lot on emotional intelligence and actually healing. And by doing that, it's going to allow this masculine to come in transformed. This is what the Three of Wands, which you've been manifesting. So you have twin flames who are really healing. And the union itself is a blessing, but these unions bring about huge windfalls of abundance, um, security and stability. And that's the reason why they are being attacked in the way that they are as well. But this is beautiful because by you working on your own inner strength and being passionate about your security, your finances, your um your health wellness your business um figuring out what god wants you to do for yourself and your family the king of cups is scorpio energy you going deep within recognizing things about your emotions the shadow attributes and the light attributes understanding emotional intelligence still managing though to be nurturing and kind but to have boundaries it's healing you, and as you heal, the connection is healed. So the more you heal, the easier it is for this person to come in. For some of you, where the masculine may not have their security and stability the way they want to do to their finances, but they're also hesitant to come in towards a divine feminine who is holding grudges against masculines from their past. So when your person is ready, you need to make sure you're ready. You don't want this person to receive a windfall of financial abundance and you're still holding a grudge against them or somebody else from your past and now you're not actually aligned. So that they're the the it's like a vibrational match. I just saw the five of chemicals, so Definitely somebody is out in the cold having financial challenges, but that's changing. The King of Pentacles is here. The Five of Pentacles it was at the bottom, and that's what I just saw. So somebody is going to go from like rags to riches. But I'm saying, again, whoever the divine, they're having an awakening. The hangman. Somebody's finances have been delayed, but they're moving forward. Somebody's finances could have been delayed too because they were holding on to some kind of toxic energy or mindset. So this is really good because obviously you have a divine couple out here that are both healing and there is going to be forward movement. You guys are manifesting one another 
and do all the work. So it's nice. This is a very straightforward reading. Look, the four of wands wants to pop out. We'll see if it comes out on its own, but very, very straightforward. You guys are just doing the work. Ten of swords, the worst is over. Four of pentacles. Four of cups, seven of swords. The worst is over when it comes to one person holding on to a grudge or both of you holding on to grudges, missing opportunities, lying to yourselves about this connection. Six of Cups and the Lovers. Somebody's coming out of denial and making a decision to, I feel, cut out other options with the King of Swords here because as somebody heals, what they're saying is that they actually want marriage. So, yeah, somebody is coming out of denial. They're awakening and realizing that they found their person. Here's the four of wands. But one second, because something just fell on the floor. The queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles goes with this king of pentacles who's going from rags to riches. Queen of pentacles. And there's the four of wands. This person's coming in slowly, but it's sure. It's a sure thing. Yeah. They're going to pick up the pace pretty soon. I'm going to, um, wow, this was so to the point. <laughs> but I'm just going to pick up the card and see if there's anything else. Um, actually, I'll use the other deck if there's any final messages, but I'm not going to drag this out. If you're going from rags to riches, you're finding your inner strength. Somebody wants to marry a divine feminine, and that's just what it is. A divine feminine needs to admit that they want this, but stop holding on to grudges from the past, either against this person or other people who have disappointed you. One second. Because something fell. Three of Pentacles and the Chariot fell. The truth is, you want to move forward and have a partnership with this person. And at the bottom of the deck here is the Temperance. It's two becoming one. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords is here. You do want to move forward with this person. And they want to move forward with you. The Chariot also speaks of overcoming obstacles and challenges, being determined, having the willpower. Yeah, this is your karmic justice. Somebody is moving towards marriage. And also, there's a very truthful, honest conversation coming. You and this person, especially if it's somebody that you know. Look at that two of cups. You may have a you may have a talk about life lessons, like what you've been through, why you are the way that you are. Four of swords. Finding the mental strength to come out of isolation, to finally see like, okay, you have healed enough now to deal with this situation like the King of Cups in a very emotionally intelligent type of way. Wow. Two of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So there have been <laughs> delays seeing the truth though. Yeah, in the Strength card. So somebody is finally about to have the strength and the courage to really, really admit that they want to be with somebody. The nine of swords is in the reverse. I feel like somebody is releasing this, this stress, fear, and anxiety. The queen of pentacles is here. The ten of swords. And the hangman is in the reverse. And here's the ten of pentacles. I feel like the divine feminine here. And I keep getting a queen of pentacles. So I, this could be for sure a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Feminine who could be dealing with like a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Masculine, but take it however it resonates. Um, somebody here is ten of swords at the end of the road. Somebody is at the end of their... Uh, what do I want to call this? It's like there's a twin flame 
like separation and somebody is at the end where with this queen of pentacles ten of swords and the hangman in, in the reverse being like at a crossroads being delayed not speaking the truth like it's time for somebody to just go ahead and say like listen i want us to be together it's just time because the ten of swords like somebody is exhausted from being separated and i feel like no matter how much bad or negative things a person has said or done or they've heard about this person or this, this situation the truth is, is that somebody is very unhappy and discontent with this other person. And the only thing that's happening is a lot of stagnant energy. Somebody is not able to, somebody is coming to the realization that they cannot move forward in love without this person. Now, I don't know if that means that these two people are gonna come together, but I do feel like it's two people here who have been separated who at this point may need to have some kind of conversation, even if it's just to clear the air. Like somebody needs to finally just say that they're not really happy without the other person. That they've tried to team up and collaborate with others and it's just not working. It's time for somebody to admit that. The Ten of Pentacles here. And I feel that it would lead to, wow, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and The Magician. It's going to lead to a brand new beginning. Like, whoa. Lots of financial abundance coming in. Lots of create creativity. Because it's like these two people, they're so much better when they're together. Somebody is curious of whether or not their feminine has gone through a transformation while they've been single. So the masculine is wondering, looking into the life of this feminine, like trying to figure out if the divine feminine has finally become independent and wealthy, successful, stable, secure in themselves or their business while in separation and going through this transformation after an ending. And they're ready, to, this masculine's ready to come in now with the truth and say and admit that they were foolish in not offering love to this divine feminine. There's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming between twin flames. The masculine is like, hey, I'm sorry. Whatever I did, I didn't mean to. I was too busy being in my ego, trying to have power and control over the situation. Divine feminine is like, and I was emotionally immature I've grown up. I understand teamwork, leadership, partnership better now. Both of these people are inspired now to create a foundation, a legacy, to have the willpower and the determination to really be devoted to one another. And they want to take action to come out of cold and somebody may, by coming out of cold, somebody is, is for sure going to come out of poverty or going to bring, like, break poverty off of their bloodline. This connection after this talk or this meetup or whatever is happening, or for some, this could be somebody that you're just meeting, but you're both in a similar place in your spiritual journey. So the intention is going to be moving towards marriage, long-term victory and success. This connection may move rather quickly. Be careful, because like I said, some of you, there could be like an unplanned pregnancy or something. It just feels like whatever happens in this situation, it, it can't be wrong, though. Whatever happens, it's meant to happen. Even if it's like a, if you have to travel or move, relocate, if there's an unplanned, whatever it is, it's meant to happen this way. The Six of Pentacles. This person is going to make sure that they share things with you. But again, this situation is not like 
what you thought it was going to be and nobody else can really tell you how it should be either they can tell you what it could be but they don't they can't read your future they don't know this person is is willing to come in yeah nine of wands they've been wounded but it's like they want to stay the course they want to be persistent like this person they're willing to stand in the fire and fight with you with the six of pentacles the will of fortune they feel like this is destiny just like you do but again there needs to be communication this person needs to come out and say something you and this person are going to have to have this conversation soon very soon because look at this both of you are holding back <laughs> but you're the more you hold back the more restricted you feel you're in this mental imprisonment here but it's destined the star and the temperance card is destined you and this person are destined to be leaders together oh that is so sweet this connection helps you feel creative and hopeful. It's a very, it's a spiritual union. It's like you and this person, you pour into each other, you help each other to become more positive, to have more faith in just yourselves as well as humanity. The temperance card is here, so it's balance. It's understanding peace. This situation has taught you a lot about patience because for some of you, you've been separated from this person a long time either in this lifetime or you've just been separated from this person from a you know previous lifetime so you're about to meet them but the temperance also speaks of a harmonious relationship and here look at this you have the temperance card in this other day and the ace of wands with the sun and the ace of pentacles wow and the ace of cups the tower empress divine feminine your justice is coming and it's the will of fortune you have here the Ace of Wands, I'm sorry, the Temperance card and the Wheel of Fortune. But right above it is the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever this is, it's um, it's written. And it's everything that you ever hoped for, prayed for, and manifested. It's an extremely harmonious spiritual union. But two people need to say something. Look, Ace of Swords. You need to speak out about these ideas or these plans to come together. There's a breakthrough that's happening. The sun, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. So somebody here has to make a choice. And the truth is somebody may have to make a choice to leave a situation behind to pursue this situation. Here's the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. But now, I I wasn't really getting another person before. That That is some people's situation. For some of you, you're this Queen of Wands. Because remember I said before, with the Temperance, the King of Wands, and the Star, the Queen of Wands would be the match to the King of Wands. Your only regret is going to be that you and this person didn't come together sooner. This is two very confident people. Two very confident, optimistic positive people who are making the choice to take the lead in their lives it's you and a person are growing individually and you're going to come together at the perfect time whether it's to someone from your past that you know or someone from a past life that you're about to encounter both of you have been on your individual journeys of being the star being healers being you know for some of you light workers just becoming a, a better version of yourself. And when you come together with this person, that's when that eight, 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 eight energy comes in. It's a windfall of abundance. Y'all can make this up. The lovers upright and the three of swords in the reverse. 
you made a choice to love and to heal yourself so that you would release a lot of pain and depression and fear the grudges or whatever that was holding you back. Now you're becoming a vibrational match for your actual twin flame um, divine counterpart. It's a perfectly balanced spiritual union. This says kindred spirits, perfect unions, partnerships, relationships, romance, desire, sexual connections, and shared values. You and this person have the same values and the two of pentacles is in reverse. There's not gonna be any more instability. What's coming in, the three of wands, is you and this person recognizing each other. So this is twin flame recognition. And this here is Seven of Cups. The person that you've been dreaming of and fantasizing about, they're coming in. And you've been invested in manifesting this person. The Seven of Wands is, is here in the reverse. So that means that you're letting your guard down. They're letting their guard down. This is when you just kind of give in or you give up. You admit defeat. You admit that, listen, I don't want to do life without you. You don't want to do life without me. So it's time for us to come together. Here at the end, the moon is here and the high priestess. There's no more illusions. And if you have this high priestess energy, you're gonna start receiving more dreams. There's something in your subconscious mind that is being reprogrammed to let you know that your person is close by or something. Some of you in your subconscious mind, you still have a fear of attracting a false twin flame because this is the emperor in the reverse and the devil. You're going to have to let go. So there's a grudge here. I'm picking up for sure a divine feminine. Please. There's a false twin flame here that's still in your energy, your subconscious mind. You're still feeling some kind of grudge or depression or restriction because of this person who just didn't have any kind of control they were distorted. And at times this may make you feel sad or you're overcoming trauma from this person. But there's somebody new here <laughs> that's very passionate about you. Page of Wands, the Empress. They're very passionate, enthusiastic about coming towards you. They want to be faithful. They want to give you good news and good times and this says salespersons, actors, politicians, preachers, inspirational speakers, performers, the king and queen of wands. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to um, uplift you, encourage you. You're going to really feel like stepping fully into your power. The temperance. You and this person, you're going to balance one another out. You're going to light each other's fire. So it's two twin flames, but your, your flames have, have either been out or dimmed. You're going to light each other's fire. Yep. The world and the three of cups. It's a reunion happening. And it's going to be successful because there's something that you and this person are supposed to do coming together. The five of wands in the reverse. You're supposed to learn a lesson in compromising and letting go of conflict and fighting power struggles and ego for the sake of you building for some of you a new community i keep getting this same message too you and somebody are meant to be leaders or influencers so you don't have a choice but to compromise and come together and let go of these power struggles that coming from ego and let, just letting go of pride. The tower is in the reverse. You keep resisting change. But you're being 
awaken and becoming aware that it's time now for you to move on from some kind of grudge or trauma that's not allowing you to have progress. And it's you, you're still fighting against this person for some of you. If you know them or you have a person from your past, you're still holding on to that hurt, that, that hurt, that pain, and you're suffering because your true person is having difficulty with coming in and finding you. Like I said, this is twin flame recognition. Either you're about to meet your person or if you and your person, you know them and you've been separated, you're about to have an actual union. Or reunion. And I do feel there's going to be some very, very vulnerable, like heart to heart conversations that's going to come in. Yeah. Some of you, it's a person out here, very, very mean, nasty, malicious, reckless. Um, they can't, they can't manifest anything. They're constantly having money problems. They don't really show that they appreciate you. Or if they're not having money problems, they just refuse to share or be generous with you. Someone that's very arrogant. They can't really be trusted. You need to let go of that person because someone who wants to bring you real security and stability, they're trying to come in. You need to make space for this person. Page of Cups. Yep. For some of you, this person could be somebody from your past or a past life. Because the Six of Cups is here. The Six of Cups, though, could also just be the energy of somebody. When they come in and provide you with this emotional security, you're going to feel childlike, youthful, playful. Um, you're going to want to be creative because they come in bringing you wish fulfillment. So for some of you, it's not a past person. It's just somebody from a past life, possibly. They're so kind. They make you feel so secure. Like, you're going to feel like a child, almost. This person could also be psychic. They could be, a, like, psychic or very intuitive like you. There is an, a, a spiritual and an emotional connection with you and this person. With Six of Cups, Page of Cups here, and the Knight of Cups. So whoever this person is coming in with this emotional security, it's because they are connected to you um, in a very psychic and emotional way. So they can make your cup overflow easily. Wow. So your wish is coming true. And some of you, you're about to realize that <laughs> some part, somebody that you keep running from is actually your person. Or they're realizing this about you. The nine of cups is a person though who is very confident. They they don't have self esteem issues or anything. Like they can make their wishes come true and yours. Look at that. And here's the queen of cups. The knight of cups, nine of cups, queen of cups. So somebody is their wish to bring you wish fulfillment. Like. It makes them happy to make you happy. Oh, wow. That's so sweet. That, that's, wow. That's what they want. They want to make you happy. Ten of Wands in the reverse. It's like... The way, I, the way I see this Ten of Wands in the reverse right now, somebody will do whatever it takes to make you happy. I mean, they will do whatever. They will carry any burden. They will move across the, 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 the sea, the, the world. They don't care. They'll do whatever it takes to be with you. The Hermit. So somebody now is willing to do whatever it takes to heal and to evolve to be a vibrational match for you. Wow. Because they want to marry you and God has told them that that's what they're supposed to do. You have Taurus and Virgo heavy out here. Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio. And water. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They, they want the commitment. They want marriage. And they're like, whatever healing they have to do, they're, they're, they're on board. They're willing to do it. This is amazing. I'm gonna leave it here.